Jeff grows a level as well, Pooh grows a level as well, and that's the end of that. My tip for you is find a Starman Super on its own, and whatever re-release you are playing, I hope you are playing a re-release, because you can't do this in the original version, you make a restore point. Suspend point, whatever they feel like calling save states. We all know what a save state is. You create that just before you're about to touch the enemy on the field. You walk over to him, yet you get back attacked. Okay, good. You start the battle, have Jeff use his spy command on the enemy. This will tell you if they have an item drop that they are capable of, it tells you if they have an item they're capable of dropping. I kinda would recommend having an inventory space free in Jeff's slots just because I don't know if that impacts your ability to- WHAT?! I guess it does! I had to grind one enemy! <laughs> well, you know the method! I didn't have to stay here and grind at all, but I have significantly less vocal cords than I did a moment ago! Wait a minute, did that- Was that text printing incorrectly? I have to know. Ness, you give that to Pooh. Again. Yeah, it has a line break that it's not supposed to have. Limitations of... Um, I'm guessing it's that Ness and Poos and the Sword of Kings have... the just the right length to make it do that with the text being generated on the fly. It's a weakness. Okay! I am very happy to tell you that the Sword of Kings raises Poos' offense by a whopping 30 points, making it one of the biggest non-Casey bet bonuses you can find.